The bit of big news here today has been another high-profile Republican coming out in support of Kamala Harris. I speak of Arnold Schwarzenegger, former Republican governor of California, who in a strongly worded post on X today has essentially said, Hasta la vista, Donald Trump. He says if Donald Trump is re-elected, he'll continue to divide Americans. He'll continue to insult Americans. And Arnold Schwarzenegger believes it is time to, in his words, turn the page on this chapter in US history. He may not be the last Republican coming out in support of the Democrats. I caught up earlier today with John Conway. He works with a group called Republican Voters Against Trump. This group is funneling tens of millions of dollars into the campaign, hoping to persuade concerned Republicans to defect from their party and vote for the Democrats. And as John Conway told me earlier today, that he believes if uh, that doesn't happen, there is a lot at stake for the future of the Republican Party. Donald Trump has fundamentally changed the Republican Party. Uh, and the only way that the Republican Party is going to go back to a party that supports our democracy, go back to a party that supports free trade and free markets, goes back to a party that supports uh, United States leadership around the world, is if Donald Trump loses this presidential election. Sustained electoral defeat is the only way for the Republican Party to change the incentive structure and, and reevaluate what type of candidates it's going to nominate, not only for the presidential elections, but in statewide races, too. John Conway, the director of strategy with the group Republican Voters Against Trump. So there you go. The stakes are very high for those within the Republican Party, according to people, more mainstream Republicans like John Conway as this election approaches. And Michael, before we uh, before we let you go, uh, what's your Halloween outfit? You're going to give us a hint. You're in the the heart <laughs> of Halloween. <laughs> Well, listen, if I told you, James, it wouldn't be a surprise tomorrow, Come would it? Uh, but uh, we looking at uh, suitable costumes, perhaps, but uh, more importantly, suitable locations uh -huh. uh, in this uh, great city. Uh, as you know, as anybody who's been to America during Halloween, I certainly lived here, as you did, James. They do not do Halloween by halves. So uh, you think it's big in Australia? I know you're talking about it there this morning. But uh, think about what you see on Australian streets and magnify it <laughs> 10,000 fold and you'll get an idea of what Halloween is like here in uh, DC and America more generally. So, uh, yes, uh, in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back tomorrow morning for a special <laughs> Looking Halloween to edition it. of News Breakfast. Looking forward to it, Michael. What do you think you should go as, Bridget? I think you should go as an undecided voter. Oh, okay. That's, you know, that's like the Very rare. theme. I think I you think. should go as a vampire. I still have this theory. Michael Rowland looks as fresh as he did when he started 14 <laughs> years ago. I've been doing this four days and I've aged and my hair's going grey. <laughs> he is ageless. There's something suspicious in that, you know. He's magic. He's magic. Anyway.